Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you guys this story and I want y'all to take a look at this swamp creature that crawled up out of some hole somewhere. And I guess this individual somehow found a man that wanted to lay down with her and made some kids with this individual. And I know that's probably a little bit harsh because y'all are looking at the screen and you're talking about, well, what if this young man, I mean, this young woman do. So I'm going to explain some things to y'all that are not going to sit well with your sensibilities. And I'm going to give my opinion about it. If you can't handle that, then this is your disclaimer if you need to exit the video. But Louisiana, a state that I really enjoy being in, especially New Orleans. Shout out to New Orleans. But Louisiana takes another L. And a big one at that. Because this story pissed off a lot of people based on what that thing did. A mother, alleged mother, in Louisiana was arrested and charged with multiple felonies after police said that she brought two of her small children onto a large bridge. Let me see if I can show y'all that. Can y'all see that bridge? Brought her children on that large bridge. She took them and tossed both of them over the edge and sent them plummeting into the lake below. One of the children died which was the smallest child and the other child was severely injured, but that child actually survived. New Orleans ABC affiliate WGNO dash TV, which is the news reported that, uh, what was it? Where, let me see if I can get her mug back up on the screen. Wow. That is just incredible. You just, I mean, I'm just like, there, there's so many things I want to call her <laughs> that I don't know if I can say without getting flagged on the channel. But that woman's face is quite special in a slow type of way. That's the type of face that only the devil could love. Just ridiculous. That is 32 year old Eureka Black and you could tell Eureka Black has had a hard life as that woman looked like her eyes are extremely empty. Y'all want to talk about mental illness? There's just nothing inside of her head at all. It's just nothing going on. It's just a tick tock tick tock. There's, there's nothing moving up there. <laughs> Clearly. 32 years old, that individual was charged with one count of second degree murder for the death of her infant son, newborn baby, infant son, and one count of attempted second degree murder for hospitalizing her five-year-old son, kids who can't do anything about it. They were just stuck. They couldn't fight her back. That makes mom a bully as well. Officers with the uh, Washcomb Police Department took her into custody at a rest area in Washcomb, Texas earlier Friday. No, Texas is not taking this ill. We need to take this back to Louisiana. Anyway, neither of the children's names were released to the public. And we really don't need them at this moment, but it, will be, it would be nice if we, if we could know what to put our prayer hands up to, to the baby that passed away. It would be nice to have a name. My heart is just so broken with this event that's, that's occurred today. Uh, Chief of Shreveport Police Department, Wayne Smith, told the news. Law enforcement authorities said that Eureka Black, the alleged mother, threw both of the children off of the Cross Lake Bridge Friday morning. The Shreveport Police Department received a call at approximately 11 a.m. concerning a child seen floating in the lake near the bridge. Marine police officers were dispatched to the area where they discovered an unresponsive infant child. The infant was pulled from the water and pronounced dead. The Shreveport Police Department, the Shreveport Fire Department, the Cato, the Cato uh, Parish Sheriff's Office, Life, Air, and Louisiana State Police and the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries all took part in a multi-agency search effort that went on for more than three hours. Law enforcement officials involved in the search efforts were concerned that Black's third child was missing 
and may have been in the lake as well, but they were eight but they were able to confirm that the child was in another location and not been harmed. Thank God for that. So they did find the third child in a safe location. The officers continued to search the lake and were able to find and rescue the five-year-old child who was reportedly brought to LSU Oshner Health Shreveport with what police said was life-threatening injuries. By Saturday, the child's injuries have been downgraded to non-life-threatening. He is reportedly expected to make a full recovery. So we could put a prayer hands up in the chat for that. Or if you guys like, you can click the thumbs up. Share these babies story because they deserve it. Investigators told the news that the surviving child provided police with enough evidence that was critical in identifying their mother as the person responsible for harming the kids. Thank God for that. Agencies began searching for Eureka Black, issuing a be on the lookout alert for her gray Dodge Caravan with Texas license plates. A police officer in Wascom, Texas, spotted the vehicle later in the day Friday and took the defendant into custody, which is why it's so important that if y'all get those those notifications on your phone, the Amber Alerts, even if you're even if you're not in a position to look, don't ignore them. If you get a moment. If you're in the right position, if you're outside, if you're out, whatever it is, if you see those Amber Alerts, try the best you can not to ignore those. Don't ignore those if you can, because it could have provided a tip just like this. It's a tragedy and we ask for prayers for the children and their family, according to SPD Sergeant Angie Wilhite. Pray for our law enforcement officers that have been out there all day, all morning working on this. Our firefighters, life air, our dive teams with Caddo Sheriff's Department and the and the police department. It's been a multi-agency effort. Unfortunately, there's no happy ending to this, but we do have the suspect in custody. Our detectives are working right now on interviews and recovering more evidence in this case. I want to throw this out there because I always want to take an opportunity to give our law enforcement and our um what do you call them? Our law enforcement and our um, uh, city city workers. I forget. I, I, I can't think of the name. But our firefighters, the people who get paid by our tax dollars. This is why we have to stop saying stupid things like defunding the police. Because the second that you need them to go do some work, go put in some long hours, go do some investigating and go to arrest some dangerous criminals. They're putting their life, emotions, physically, spiritually, emotionally on the line every single day that they go out there. Instead of defunding the police, we need to refund the police. How about that? Refund, don't defund. They should get more money for what they do, not less. Because most of us wouldn't want to do the job that they do. Let's keep going. Black is currently being held without bond. Zero bond for her or him, whatever. In Texas and is awaiting extradition back to Caddo Parish, Louisiana. Investigators asked that anybody who might have seen Black's gray van or anything out of, the, uh, out of order to contact detectives at 318-673-6955. Tips can also be posted anonymously with Louisiana Crime Stoppers at 318-673-7373. SPD did not immediately respond to an email from Law and Crime seeking additional details concerning the case against Eureka Black. Let me give you guys the fair usage. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I think the term I was looking for, Lokalani put it in there, 808, thank you very much, public servants. Public servants or civil servants. But thank y'all all for uh, for letting me know. And that's actually why we have a live chat. So you guys can help me when I mess up stuff like that. 
but we're doing this live but thank you so much and today is national daughter day thank you leanne engel much love and thank you for sharing that let's get it in A woman is in custody and police are looking for witnesses after two children were thrown off a bridge in a cross lake this morning and one of them did not survive. Fox 33's Darren Todd has the latest. It started after someone reported seeing a child's body floating in the waters of Cross Lake just before 11 a.m. Our Marine Patrol unit responded to that location. They were able to remove a child from the water there. The child, unfortunately, was deceased. A short time later, they pulled another small child from the water who was taken to Oshner LSU Health. And it makes me wonder, how did that other child survive? Did they just float in the water? Did they continue to keep swimming? I'm, like, how long was that child, even the other child, the five-year-old, how long was he in the water for? That's, we are so thankful that that baby survived. Boy, that is nothing but a miracle. Very serious condition. At last check, police say the child was still alive. Police searched for a third child who was later found safe. Police were able to come up with a vehicle description and put out an alert to local agencies. Her great Dodge Caravan with Texas tags was spotted in Wascom, where she was taken into custody this afternoon. It's a female in her 30s. She was taken into custody without incident, and she has been transported to the Shreveport Police Complex for questioning by investigators. Police have not released the children's ages or sex, and so far, they have not confirmed the woman's relationship to the children. Investigators do not believe this is a random act of violence. I don't have the words. I don't have the words um, because I think pretty much all of us were full of emotion. What was more overwhelming was knowing that it was a baby um, that lost his life on today. And so I think about the ongoing trauma that the that that child's brother is going to feel. You know, we ask for the community's prayers and and just understanding right now. We will get more information out as we can. This is a tragedy, a, a true tragedy. Councilwoman Tabitha Taylor says it highlights the need for more of a conversation about mental health. Oftentimes when it, it happens in your backyard, it, it hits differently. And so I will just ask that again, mental health has to be a focus and letting individuals know that there is another way out. It can no longer be a closed conversation. Here in talk. This is not mental health. This is called hashtag babies for benefits. This is not mental health. They don't love these children. They don't care about them. They only use them for the benefits that they can get off of these kids. And when they can't get any benefits, what do they do? They kill the kids. That's not mental health. That's actually a conscious decision, which could actually, you could be charged with first degree murder. Yep. It was on purpose. Next video. The top tonight with tragic news from Cross Lake. First responders have pulled two children from the water. One is confirmed dead, the other is currently in the hospital. Let's go out to our Bill Lunn near Cross Lake now where all of this happened uh, earlier today around midday. Bill, give us the latest. Yeah, Jerry, this is just one of those stories that gets you right in the heart. As a dad, I've been wondering all day, who, who would do something like this? I mean, who would hurt or even kill a child? And that's exactly what Shreveport police are trying to find out now. Uh, as you said, I like that. I'm going I'm to use that, Maria. Maria said that's selfish health, not mental health. Thank you. Y'all catch that? That's not mental health. That's selfish health. Selfish health. That's what it is. And this all transpired just before 11 o'clock this morning uh, when they, Shreveport police got a call of children or someone in the water. They responded and we'll let police describe what they found. Our Marine unit deployed on that location and did recover a small child from the water. That child unfortunately was deceased on the scene. A uh, short time later, our, our Marine P Patrol continuing its efforts located a, another small child in the water. That child was transported to Oshner LSU Health Center. 
and uh, she told us that that child was in life-threatening condition, although I have talked to some neighbors here who did witness it, that, and they said the child did appear to be stunned, but did appear like he was going to be okay. Meanwhile, a couple hours later, uh, police got into a chase or pulled over a vehicle at the Texas line on Interstate 20. It was a gray Dodge van, and inside, they say, was the woman they believe is responsible. They described her as in her 30s. They didn't say what her relationship is to those children, but there was concern about a third child possibly being in the lake behind me. They say the third child was accounted for because he was in the van with that woman. She has been taken into custody and is now being interviewed by Shreveport detectives. But again, an incredibly sad day. A toddler is dead, an older child injured. We believe they were, they were likely thrown in possibly off the 220 bridge behind me, but also possibly off another bridge just to the south here. Police are trying to determine that now. They're interviewing this woman. They're trying to get all the facts of the case. This on, uh, investigation will be ongoing, but a, again, a very, very sad day out here on Cross Lake. Rep Today, a drive through birthday party for the child rescued after being thrown into Cross Lake Friday was held this morning at Oshner LSU Health. The child's mother, identified as Eureka Black, threw the five-year-old boy and baby off a Cross Lake bridge Friday morning. A third child was found unhurt later. People drove through and wished the little boy happy birthday. Any overages of gifts will be stored at the Shreveport Police Department. The 10. Okay, I'm gonna have they got too much music playing in this video. I'm gonna have to let this play silent. So I gotta mute this. And if you guys are watching, what you're looking at is you're actually looking at all of the gifts that people are just driving by and giving to the boy that survived. Now this is beautiful. This is awesome. And I'm thankful that the people had enough heart to do this. I thought this was awesome. So thank you to the police and thank you to all the kind people who were driving by there giving gifts and stopping by, showing some love. Because I know that affects people. I know it affects people. My goal is not to make people feel sad, but to make people feel like they want to make a change, make a difference. And hopefully everybody understands that. So I think that's that might be the little child right there, but I'm not sure. But here's our next video. Broken in every uh, law enforcement official and uh, firefighter here, every first responder, we all feel the same way. My heart is just, just so broken at this event that has occurred today. I can't do all this music. I'm gonna have to skip that video. I'm going to skip this one. This is more or less the interview. If y'all want to see that, maybe I'll put it on the uh, on the replay and I'll attach it in there. But it's basically four minutes of her talking about what we've already heard in the other videos. Good evening, I'm Alexandra Meacham. We begin tonight with the tragic news unfolding on Cross Lake this afternoon, where a child was found dead and another is fighting for their life. The details of this case are disturbing. Police say a woman in her 30s threw the children off of a bridge into Cross Lake. Shreveport police were called around 11 this morning after getting reports of a child's body floating in the lake. That child was pronounced dead at the scene. A Shreveport Marine Patrol officer found another small child in the water. They were rushed to the hospital in serious condition. A third child was found safe. You know, we ask for the community's prayers and and just understanding right now. We will get more information out as we can. This is a tragedy, a, a true tragedy. And our, our, our law enforcement officers are hurting. What was more overwhelming was knowing that it was a baby um, that lost his life on today. And so I think about the ongoing trauma that the that that child's brother is going to feel. At this point, police will not confirm the relationship between the woman and the children. Police say she was taken into custody. They won't confirm it. I'm telling y'all that was their mother, biological mother. Custody at the Texas state line. Fox 43's Darren Todd will have a full report coming up tonight at 930. I'm going to give you guys my closing thoughts, and it's just really short and really simple. 
a lot of these individuals only have these children because they're trying to collect benefits off of these kids, whether it's to keep a man, whether it's to keep a house, whether it's to keep food in the refrigerator from food stamps. There's something that they're getting from these kids. It could even be something as simple as attention. But once they aren't getting those things, once they aren't being fulfilled, especially these infallible people that believe that there's nothing that they could do wrong because nobody holds them accountable, then they feel like they could take it out on these children. And the children are the ones that end up suffering. The children end up with almost like this, this shell shock PTSD that they grow up in life and then they turn around and, and we continue to push this cycle on to the next generation. And at some point we gotta put our foot down and make more of an effort to take care of the home front. I also wanna say this, cause I know this has nothing to do with this story, but I was thinking about this earlier. We are so worried about these people coming into our country from all of these other places, crossing our borders illegally, illegally, yes, that should not be here. Talking about they're running from violence. Well, I don't care what they're running from if you're gonna turn around and be breaking our laws here and come to our country illegally. The reason I say that that needs to stop and our borders should have never been opened up to just anybody and everybody because you got people like this that continue to keep getting ignored. These people that we need to be paying attention to. We have all of these homeless people just everywhere, like roaches everywhere. We have all of these people that need help. We got all of these kids in the system that need help. We're already struggling when it comes to funding CPS and DPS and funding our police and funding uh, our foster parents and things like that. Y'all understand why I'm bringing this up? We're already struggling for funding for schools. These kids got shitty schools. Hell, the last year that I was, uh, no, 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 actually when I first started out in high school, the first year or two, we didn't even have school buses. Thank goodness for me, I was driving by my sophomore year. I didn't have to worry about it much. We didn't even have school buses to get us to and from school. But we're bringing over people that are going to literally eradicate the, res the few resources that we have. So if y'all thought it was bad in the hood and in the ghetto, you thought you didn't have no money before, you thought times were hard before, you thought you had to worry about crime before, well get freaking ready because it's about to get damn worse. And I, I hope y'all don't have to learn this lesson the hard way. We're gonna be doing more and more and more stories rather than doing the reverse and trying to fix these problems, these huge gaping problems that we have in America. Our children are losing this fight and we cannot continue to keep just thinking about ourselves. We have to put the children first and give them each and everything that they need to make sure that they can grow up and become something great. Put America first, put our children first. From my heart to yours. I love you all. Thank y'all for listening with an open mind and an open heart. Have a good day. Have a good night. See y'all on the next stream. Peace.